Welcome, Wargamers, to another episode, to another, no, that doesn't really work like that. I guess it, it's a Wog Bat Rep, okay? We got it. All right, sweet. We got Fred. And Tim. Woo. With Craig. From DC. And Dan. <laughs> so, Craig. I heard, I like your shirt, by the way. Thank you. It's, I wore it in honor of you to try and wake you up this morning. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's okay. So, 1850 points. Kind of big, nice tournament list. Tau versus uh, Orcs. Um, what are you thinking? I'm thinking it's going to be ugly. <laughs> One way or another, it's going to be ugly. What are you saying? It's a beautiful beard. <laughs> well, that goes without saying. <laughs> Well, but, uh, what yeah, do you got there? I brought this for you. It's an official uniform hat from the Border Patrol, Ooh. who I work for. Do I do I get like a free pass now? Yes. To the U.S.? Yes, yes. Just call me up and I'll let you know. Sweet. That, that's kind of tight. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, let's we'll get started. Take a look at those armies. And um, so, yeah, Fred and Tim are going to be like the cheerleaders. And it's going to be great. So, uh, wish us luck. Starting out your Tau Force, we have Commander Farsyth, and then we have three, they're Forge World, uh, I think, rules, but they're Hazard Support Suits, each with a gun drone, um, and they have like, I guess, quad burst cannons, so two twin link burst cannons, there's three squads of them. Then we have six Fire Warriors, in, or times three, three squads of six Fire Warriors, two Crisis Suits with a shield drone and a gun drone, that was an elite choice. Then we have six stealth suits, and they'll be going with Commander Firesight. And for allies, we have an Overlord and a Command Barge. And two squads of five warriors, each with Cryptek with a Tremor Staff. I'm not sure what type of Cryptek it is. But Orcs, I'm borrowing Gazkol. And we just using Mad Doc as a uh, Pain Boy, just a few knobs. We've got three squads of Truck Boys. And a full squad of war bikers. I'm trying to go pure speed freaky here. And a full squad of 20 storm boys and five deaf coptas. Kind of maxing out my fast attack without the flyers. See what damage they can do. It'll be either awesome or no, nah, it's gonna be awesome. They're orcs. So deployment. Tau actually rolled off for uh, first deployment. Um, as you can see, Fred in the corner there is supporting the troops. And for the Tau, they are on that side. And with the Necron buddies and Tim, the thrill-seeking Tau, is in support for them. Nice little mascots there, immovable terrain in the corners. So we'll have to see. We rolled off for Purge the Alien. So basically kill points. And see, there's lots in reserve, lots in transport, so we fight it nice and fun. Night fighting is enabled, and I am not able to steal the initiative, so just how to go first. Luckily, with the night fighting, it will help me with a few cover saves, should help me hopefully keep all my transports alive, but also a few more boys. But 36 inches just on the, the Dawn of War deployment isn't that far. He should be able to see most everything. But just moving up, we, everything, just <clears throat> being able to surprisingly get a lot in range. I forget how long 30 inches is with those fire warriors, even though I started playing them myself. And you just focusing fire on those who are out of cover, just to pick off a few more guys out of the squad, which is a great choice. And he does kill one storm boy. Again, every little bit helps. And then firing with the cryptek with the little blast, and he hits the squad. Manages to kill a couple, and then the whole squad is in difficult terrain, which is huge for jump infantry because now they will have to take the old difficult terrain test or dangerous terrain test anytime they want to move if they want to move their jetpacks, which they probably will. Shooting at my truck, seeing what they can do, but nothing cannot penetrate to the shrouded uh, night fighting <laughs> and the assault phase. Tower jumps back behind uh, the edifices. Anyways, orcs, turn one, jumping forward, lots of dangerous terrain for the storm boys, and three die. Well, it's not too bad. It could have been worse. And there, zoom, 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 zoom. <laughs> they go so fast. I love it. Then the boy, uh, the bikes, boikes, 
they're moving up. A few go through difficult terrain, so I roll one, two go down, but I fail. And so now it's shooting phase, almost shooting phase, still moving phase. And I still am astounded how fast trucks move in the shooting phase. First, couple shots, pot shots, of course they miss because they're orcs. But then surprisingly, a few bikes, there's only like four bikes in range. But with all of them shooting into wound, cover saves, he is. I kill three. <clears throat> and so whittling down the fire warrior squad, we're gonna we're gonna have some fun. Shooting phase, the trucks right in front of the army. So close. So this is gonna be great. We're gonna see how many of them he can pop and absolutely maul for next turn. So end of turn one. And FYI, for those you're watching, I am gonna switch to banter mode. Because I told Craig we do banter, but it was just kind of uh, autopilot mode, so I kind of did the voiceover uh, filming style, so it wouldn't be anything to, to have banter-wise. But he does make his morale with those fire warriors. As you can see, that's just the orc army is right in his face, but he has tons of reserves still to come on. And so we'll have to see how good those reserves reserve rolls are to see if you can surround me. So stay tuned, click below for part two. See you soon.